Okay, the brass range extension for tuba to help you get better at high notes on the tuba. Uh, first of all, find the F. That's right there. If you need to take a breath in the middle of these slurs, you can, but it'd be better if you don't. And since they're high notes, you probably shouldn't anyway, um, just because, you know, the, the high notes take less air. So right at the beginning, uh, you'll see that it just goes up one notch every single time. You hold the last one as long as you can. So... Second phrase. All right, sticky valve. Third phrase. And then up to the high F for the fourth phrase. To continue going on the uh, after the F, there's a G, which is first and second valve. The A natural would be second valve, and then the double high B flat would be nothing. So let me see if I can let me see how I can get. No, my first valve is sticking. I'm sorry, so that's not gonna work. Um, number two is just a progressive scale, so it starts on the low E flat. And then number three is the same E flat scale going up one notch every measure. But if you work at this a little bit methodically every day, you will find yourself getting better at those high notes. Um, it's a matter of air control, obviously lots of air, but also the speed of the air. The faster, the, the higher the note, the faster the air. And also lip, lip muscle tone, really. you got to get the lips involved there. Remember, don't push too hard. Um, you want to use all the air for the high notes, not a lot of lip pressure. In fact, I, I tend to back off a little bit on the mouthpiece. Or, you know, not really physically probably, but kind of mentally, I picture myself backing off. And that seems to keep my, uh, my embouchure from getting too, you know, pressed. Um, seems to keep me from using too much pressure. Okay, so that's a good idea. Hey, that's the brass range extension. Good luck.